uh, it's, it's just nice to remember Gintama for the absolute dumb, and I have to put the quotation on shit <laughs> on this one, like, because this entire episode, or I'll say a good chunk of it was dedicated to literal shit. <laughs> I'm glad because they decided to use this thing on the, the most garbage human being out of the entire cast, which they try to slightly redeem in the later acts, but fuck Nobu Nobu, like fuck, fuck him, like it's all about Shiga Shiga, like with this guy decided, you know what, I'm gonna help, I'm gonna help Gintoki and the gang, I'm gonna help Earth after everything is going down, it's like, I'm, for once, you know, you can use me as a puppet, I've always been there, and I'm gonna stand up for my, like, my entire planet. Oh boy, why did you get fucking Katsura and the gang involved there? Because this was a fucking mistake. Because <laughs> this guy was a fucking, just a poor, 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 just idiot throughout this who just got involved. The man just wanted to sit down, watch some good old, <laughs> like, Star Wars from what apparently that's going to be happening. But I want to say, like, at least with this and all that, like, the first part of the episode actually had some, like, actual, like, um serious like parts to it where it's like okay you know we actually know like some uh people from this one where it's like okay you know we know what to do about this situation like and we pretty much got everybody from like the uh like all the arcs like adding into this where it's like we've got everyone from that weird fucking dandy guy we've got Obviously, everyone's joining in together with this. We've got all the ninjas getting involved. We've got my girl Sukio, all the courtesans. We've got the four, the current four divas getting involved with this. Like, everyone is having their time to, like, get involved and, like, try and help around. And, like, it's just a great thing to see as a big chunk of the episode was, like, Shinpachi as he's on, like, the mic saying, like, look... They, like, from what we know and all that, like, the Liberation Army hit the back of Wade after, like, the serious pushback that we put. You guys and all that, like, Kats Katsura and, like, uh, Sakamoto, you need to go in there and you need to try and, like, do some deals right now. And it's like, we're gonna go, you're gonna go in there, you're gonna go up there with that piece of shit, Nobunobu, and you're gonna go and try and debate some dealers right now. Try and get him to back off. Try and get him away. It's like, all right, you do that. Everyone's gathering. And I like that. Like, because, like, you see this nice, like, part beforehand of them all just, like, talking down. They're all eating. They're all, like, shooting the shit and doing, say some dumb stuff. And then I love how Kagura just got hated this person. Hated Nobu Nobu. And he's like, yeah, you know, I've done some bad things. But, you know, I'm, I'm trying to redeem myself. You know, you can use me as a puppet again. And there's just this great picture of her like spraying mustard and ketchup like under the table and she's got like this gremlin looking like demeanor and it, it, I, I was fucking dying like from this shit it was hilarious and it's weird because you know you're, you're still thinking this as a final arc but it still keeps around a lot of that comedy and I feel like that's where like it normally happens at the start and then it just like kind of dissipates like straight on because I feel like that's how every single arc again how it starts. It starts off with a nice little bit of comedy, but this one went quite serious immediately straight into the final arc, and there was like no kind of real jokes. Let's just go straight in and get some serious stuff. It's saying things like after a while with like what we had with like you know this like sh uh, like you know like cause of the nation arc and all that the Shogun assassination. It just went all oh, oh my god everyone's serious, but they still put it in from now and then, and that's what I like. Where I feel like. A lot of the arcs have been... If anything, I can give, like, credit to this arc a lot. Like, obviously, it's still not finished, so I'm, like, still yet to, like, hold my, like, kind of rate and how I put up this arc with everything else. But it's the one thing I like about this arc out of all of the others is that it has... I feel like it has a perfect blend of the comedy and also as well the action. It works extremely well. And, like, like I said, this is a huge celebration of the franchise, I feel. This is, like... This is, if anything like part seven of Jojo and people who, who know Steel Ball Run kind of know what I'm talking about where near everything is a you know a reference or it's like you bring those, those people back into it I kind of like it it reminds me of that it's like a huge Gintama hoorah to the series and I really enjoy that a lot about this arc and I feel like most finales kind of forget about that and it's like no it has to be serious all the time nitty gritty hardcore and it depends on what story it is but Gintama it, it knows like it knows what it is at the end of the day but it's still 
brings you the emotional moments. I mean, we're trying to have this debate with this, like, Liberation Army, and the problem is, because Kaguya is such a stupid bitch, the fucking, like, like, the fucking Nobu Nobu's, like, there, like, shitting his fucking pants, and he's just like, I can't fucking put up debates if I'm shit myself three days, like, straight. I can't do this. Like, I need something else, and, like, they're having this serious conversation, and he's like, every fucking five minutes, I need to talk, and, like, like Katsura and like like Sakamoto get tired of this shit and they slam him down and you just say clench your fucking cheeks you're not the only one that's going to be shitting themselves if this doesn't go well and like and it just divides into like these people think the more his demeanor's acting and the misphrasing of everything that he's got a fucking bomb in his like like a bomb in like his belly or something where it's like I've got a new cone and you know if you guys don't back off and then we meet the Admiral which like the Admiral like thinks this as well, who's this big, you know, serious, muscly man, and then he decides to do this, where, like, like, he's like, everyone, you've got three minutes until this, like, goes in, you need to leave now, as, like, fucking Shiki Shiki's, like, getting in a position, it's like, I don't care anymore, I'm gonna shit my pants, I don't care, and then straight up as well, like, what we get to see with the Admiral, he does the same thing, thinking that this disembowelment, like, what they're calling it, and is like, I'm gonna do this disembowelment, and it's like, there's a great picture they do every time of fucking Katsura and Sakamoto as they're like, oh, it's a disembowel moment. It, and they're both looking like, it's a bowel moment. <laughs> it's like, there's nothing else. Like, you're mishearing this so much. And then he's like, I'm going to do it. And then the Admiral, like, right in front of everyone, shits his pants. <laughs> it's like, oh boy. N nice introduction to this, like, Admiral, this mighty warrior that we've seen. And he's like, he has one moment where he's like, I'm going to go down the ship with this bomb. And then he shits himself in front of everyone. And he's like, just... Don't tell the others that this happened. Same thing with, like, uh, he's like, I've got one deal then. I won't tell us. You get people to back off from, like, the Liberation Army to back off. And he's like, also as well, please, I need the fucking toilet. And then it all comes crashing down because fucking Kartra slaps him on the back. He's like, yeah, good job, man. And then he shits himself anyway. It's... It's so stupid to like, and I feel like I'm robbing some of the punchline from these because I know a few people uh, watch these before the actual episodes come out. But even still, it's like I feel like for the people you rob and take away something of like the joke chapters of like Gintama or the episodes itself. But I will. This is why I kind of love the anime a little bit more than a manga a lot of the time because I, again, as I say it every time in a single Gintama episode, and it just has to be put down every time the voice actors know what the fuck they're doing they know how these characters are they know what they how exactly to do it and it's like it's so much better than just reading the line it's much more better when you have these guys like overreacting and going over the top about it it's fantastic and i love that about it it was it was a great episode and i really liked that it actually <laughs> meant something where it's like Hey, the Liberation Army is actually backing off from this. They're going to actually let the humans kind of deal with the Tendo shoe. But the problem is right now is we've got the issue of, like, the ground units are still going to kind of do whatever the fuck they want, though. But we're not going to be sending any more uh, down and we're not going to be sending all our fleets down there. So, we're, so far, we made some interest. And plus, as well, next week, we're, we're seeing it, so we're getting some stuff on there. And just overall, it was a fun episode and I liked it a lot. And just, it's put a smile on my face throughout the entire way. So... I definitely love this episode. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. That's all for me, though, and I'll see you guys, though, next time.